Uh, the ones that are air supplying. Fucking... The, the IRA are a political organisation who's going to be taking over your homeland through political persuasion. Yeah, exactly. Of course they're going to be taking over, so it's going to be the, the main dominant party in the whole of Ireland. And then it'll be all no. under the IRA, Sinn Féin... Electoral uh, they're, mandate, they're, 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 they're not going too far down the south of Ireland, that's for sure. And they're getting very close to the stage in Northern Ireland where they're going to get a bit of monarchs put in them. Um, they had monarchs put in them, that's why they actually went for the ceasefire. But, um, unfortunately, the security forces stopped. Uh, when. John Joe McGee, um, you know, the new heaven that was going on, and then was the boys shooting there, and I suppose that was a good thing. Uh, they are shooting boys who wanted farmers. Um, it was a smart move by British intelligence, like when you think about it. But uh, there are boys. Hope Haven in here, I've let you spout your flannel juice in gibberish, right? Just because it's all Saints Day. I'm sure you have to Right, okay. Right, so in that case, where does that leave your unionist community when it walks to walk down roads and it's been denied walking down roads and it wants to fi fly the butcher's apron, right, and it can't be allowed to do so? So can't you take a heed that it's time to reform, to get a new reformation and get ducks with Athenian persuasion, give it a bit of ducky alarm, get a bit of green, white and gold in about you, uh, say God bless the Pope and uh, F the Queen and that's you, you're all the way my man. <laughs> hey, you get off on waggy daggy but... You're loaded, uh, you ain't talking about it. And... You're, you're wired to the moon in the magic mushies. Uh, I think you're wired up, they just haven't plugged you in yet. You've not been plugged in yet. Tell me, whereabouts in Scotland are you? Have you come over for the magnificent book launch of the great Paul Larkin? <laughs> he's, he's done a book on the Edinburgh <laughs> establishment exposing uh, how how we, the people in Scotland we, we tried to kill Glasgow books. Celtic and they failed and they killed their own club. Is that what you've come over for? These, these fantasy books uh, make me have to make, well, they do make me laugh. Uh, you know, someday Irish Republicans will realise that people are interested in facts, not myth. Um, it's like the 800 years of British rule. You just keep going on about it. Then you just want to forget about the last 40 years. Um, but if know, an invaded... Hold on, Willie. If an invaded force... You, you, want to, you want to forget about the last 40 years, but you keep going on about it. There's no forgetting years. about it. If, if British troops, if the British planters, if they hadn't come across and stolen the land, and if they hadn't partitioned a way back 80, 90 well, years ago, stolen. then there wouldn't be the troubles. Yeah. But if there wasn't yeah. any British troops hey, well, in Ireland, there'd be no the trouble. Was there and all. Uh, so, what about partition then? Uh, the O'Neills and all that, the uh, ancient kings of Ulster. Uh, you know, are you blaming the British for that as well? Look, but, uh, there's many, there's the many the Irish people. The then was because of uh, the O'Neills and, and the Crescent and all that type. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Look, there's been many Irish people who have took their 30 shekels of silver and sold out. To the to the nation of Ireland, right? So that there's nothing new in that, these okay? Are people. These are Ulster people, not Irish. I'm t well, look, an Ulster man's an Irishman. You just too daft to accept it. Just admit you're an Irishman, Willie. No, no, I'm an Ulster man. You're an Irishman, Willie. You talk like an no. Irishman to me. I can hear an Irishman there. Ah, uh, well, that's you know that's your uh, idea of an Irishman. You're Irish, you're Willie. You're you. Irish. Do you eat Irish bread? Irish what? what, do, you, what do, you eat, do you eat Irish bread? Yeah. Tell me this, what is Irish history? What do history you, has the Irish got? 
Oh, do you pay? Do you pay your license to the British Broadcasting Corporation? Against the wee, wee, wee gnome sitting in the garden. What actual history there he's got? What history? He's got no history. Hold on. If you're part of Britain, do you pay for the British BB, uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation's license? Do you pay your license fee, Willie? Of course, I pay my license. Ah, oh, your ass. You'd be the only person <laughs> in the sixth provinces to pay your license fee, if you will. Uh, you see, that's why you're confused, but that's all changed. Even Slab Murphy has a license now. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Is that right? You can actually check it. To, you know, you can go on, let's just go on and check who's all got their license. Oh, you're tripping Slab Murphy yeah. has. John George Hughes has a TV license. Uh, Martin McGuinness has a TV license. I don't know about Adams now, I'm not sure. How would you know this? How would you know this? Are you, are you, are you a stalker? Are you spying on him, Willie boy? No, I'm not spying. I don't need to spy. Then uh, there's things that are to hold law and order and support the crime you need to do. You have to pay your licence. But these are these are elected uh, officials. They're elected officials. They've, they're elected officials. They've, they've got to apply the, the... They've got to go along with the law. And, and sooner or yeah, later... Yeah, they're under the British crown. Yep. Yeah, they're but sooner, sooner or later, Britain is going to cede right to the land... group of people, you're becoming a smaller and smaller group of people, a sect of a bygone it's age. Big enough to be the majority in Northern Ireland. A throwback, a throwback to a bygone age, a throw up and a throwback to a, a time that people want to forget. So the British people in general from the mainland. Who wants to forget? The British people in the mainland want to cleanse themselves from okay. flag wavers and people walking down the streets dressed in Klu Klux Klan. It happened on the 11th of, well, no, it's, I think it's the 9th. Uh, come down to London, do you see the people? For what? The ex, well, they're not ex, someone, well, a lot of them are ex. Regiments like the Parachute Regiment, the Marines, all them types of boys out over the years. How they come up to the Ulster Mount, tell them how proud they are to have served with them. What are you talking about now? What are you jibber jabbering about here? What are you jibber jabbering about? You're saying about uh, Britain wants to get rid of us. Yes. The men that fought for Britain all over the world, over the, from the Second World War, was left of them, and right up through. Ask them men if they want rid of us. You're talking about people who have got shrapnel in their lugs. They count their brain yeah, cells with amount of shrapnel in their, their brains. Weekend. They've not got any brains there. You're the talking about dafties who bounce about a pitch. Not that you don't know much about that, for you've never fought anywhere in your lives. Is that right? Uh, I would, you know, the Irish flag's a bit like the Italian one. That's how I got that it right? mixed up. Is that the Italian right? flag was always heading away. They were never right? heading to them. Is that right? Um, it's like rare so, men. So, so all yeah, those, time, he, so he all those Italians from the back. So all those brave men who died in the Somme from the the Ulster Defence Regiment, yeah, under Carson. Carson was a good brave man, wasn't he? He was a good man, letting all those thousands and thousands of men, fifty thousand men slaughtered, and they said of the Ulster Regiment they were the bravest of the brave, and they took a bit of land. They took a bit of land 200 yards in front of them and they had to see that. So any gain that was there lasted hours and was taken back by the Germans. So there you go, your tactical genius Carson, the uh, great uh, fighter. He uh, allowed thousands see, of British troops, thousands history. of your Ulstermen to die the in vain. To die in vain, Willie. They died in fucking vain. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, 
They also men were only ones to attack their objective. They died in vain. They may have taken an objective. They died for yeah, nothing. The they suffered heavy casualties the and they died for nothing. But oh, they ticked the boxes. French, uh, American, whatever. Um, they ticked the boxes, so but they went to their death. They were the brown brogues of dignity and they were slaughtered. Did you pay your taxes back then, Willie? But he couldn't be. There was a certain type of blood that you need in you. Which you wouldn't know much about because Republicans don't have that type of blood. Is that right? Well, my, my father was called William and my great granny on his side wore an orange sash. So maybe I've got a bit of that fight in me, Willie boy, that you talk about. Uh, and a few day jumpers have. in my family, a few day jumpers have. seen sense and but saying, let's get out of this mob. We're on have. the Fenian ducky alarm yeah. mode. What do you say? I said, we're, a few day jumpers jumped out on the ducky alarm and said, we're having none of this. And we joined, we joined the right side, Willie boy. This, the side of you justice mean, and fairness. Uh, you would be what they call a conscientious objector. Uh, you're the sort of guy who had the balls to go out and fight anywhere. No, 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 no. Uh, only the only you know, fight wars that are... That you are, are, knew they would never have to go anywhere. To no, no, no. No. The no, 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 no. Well, you're talking about my great-uncle from Ardoy, my great-uncle John, who went down to the south. Instead of fighting another man's war, another country's war, why would you want to die for another stupid man's war? A fake war. Why would you want to fight in a fake war? Fight for your country. I, well, that's why he's helped the Germans, wouldn't it? Listen... Talk about the Germans, That's Hitler. Why you the Germans, eh? Listen, sweetie. Yeah. Hitler. So you the balls to stand up to them. Is that right? Hitler. There were some good Irish men. You're a good the Irish man yourself, Willie boy. Joined the British Army. Yeah, You're a good so Irishman. He, he was actually born about while they were away. He was born their homes and stuff while they were away fighting. The Trumps is God, God who stop traducing the, the names of good anywhere. people. Don't traduce the names of good people. Attacked the, the men's families. Don't. Born them out. That's the heroes of the war. Don't talk such things. The men were actually out fighting a war against Nazis. They don't talk such rubbish. You don't know what you're talking and about. The Republicans were helping the Nazis. How dare uh, you introduce the name of good people? What? Tell me then, right? See, when Rangers fans went to Israel, they were told not to do the red hand of Ulster salute because it resembles the Nazi salute. Can you see the yeah, resemblance? Yeah, Ulster salute. Yes, yes, What's yes. Well, right you put your hand up resembling a bloody Nazi. Can I ask you, can you see That's the resemblance that other mortals can see between the KKK, the Nazis, and loyalists? Well, there's a, there's a clear you, distinction to be made you that you're running the same race as Brand. Um, um, they certainly don't see us as Nazis. You're part of the Nazi party, you're part of the KKK Nazi Loyalist Party, yeah, really. You just, you got to face up to the facts here. Republicans. That's typical Republican slabber, you know, KKK. Slabber. <laughs> within two years, what, within two years of the see, KKK I, forming, you, two years before that was the Orange Order. Of uh, the Pope and them saluting alongside Nazis in the Second World War. Ah, but you forget, Willie, I'm an Islamist. Listen, I'm an Islamist. I'm an Islamist. I ain't following no Church of Rome. I don't, don't start quoting the Pope on me. I'm from the Islamic, I'm from the Irish Islamic Brigade, okay? Crackpot, Fenian, crackpot, Fenian, radical pacifist Brigade. I'm just like yourself, Willie, sitting here as a peaceful guy. I'm mad as a bag of nails. I'm, bag as a, I'm, I'm mad as a bag of frogs. Just like yeah, you, really, boy. Back. Come on. Let, I'll How take you out for a coffee. You want to go for a coffee? Coffee? I'll take you for a coffee. Me and you, we'll sit there. We'll get somebody to put a video. Me and you will sit there chewing the cud. Instead of doing these radio shows, let's sit and have a wee coffee. Celtic's playing tomorrow, Joy goes. And me and you can sit and watch Celtic play. We'll get a wee video going down. Celtic? 
Yeah, he had them. Champions of Scotland. Champions of Scotland, Willie Boy.